Continuing with her contribution to law, we have advocate Flavia Agnes here with us, who is a women's rights lawyer and founder of Majlis, which is a legal and cultural resource center in Mumbai. She is a relentless advocate of gender equality through the law, which is an area that Lothika Deep made huge contributions to. So may I invite you up, please, your uh, memories will have a lot of meaning for us. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me to speak here. And I feel highly honored, in fact, to be here sharing our fond memories of Lotika V. And I thank Mitu for putting this event together so that those of us in Bombay actually can come together and share these fond memories. I think what strikes me most, which other people must have shared earlier, one is a totally unassuming nature, and second is a sense of humor. And after the letter was written, and we all were holding uh, Lothika Dee in very high esteem, as the person who has brought about these changes, a decade later I wrote a small book called Journey to Justice, explaining uh, the process in which a rape case actually gets followed up. And then I went, and when I met her, I said, this book is a tribute to you. You know, what you have started is what we are following. This is really, I'm so grateful for that you've given me this book. Because actually, you know, I don't know anything about rape law. <laughs> and uh, they asked me to sign the letter, I signed it. And now everybody is asking me to talk about it. And I don't know what to talk. At least now I have something I can go and talk. <laughs> Which was listening to that extent. And actually then, like if you are a novice, you will actually believe her, yeah, maybe she, she doesn't know much. And, uh, and then she started laughing, and it was like so funny, and when I started laughing, and she started laughing, and it was like just amazing. And, and she says, you know, I've never gone to a criminal court, and I've never seen a rape trial. I don't know any of these things. I, I, in fact, in, in fact, it's true for many of us. We write about things, but without actually going and seeing what happens in the court, and then we become experts. And uh, none of us have the humility actually to accept that here you know, my understanding is very limited. I have done something, and I have come into the limelight for uh, signing this letter. But actually, at the basic level of a criminal court trial, I don't understand. Similarly, when I wrote my book, also had never seen a criminal court or done any criminal trial or you know what happens in a criminal court. And when she said that, I thought to myself, it's actually true. And none of us would accept it in public or accept it with our friends saying that, look, I've written this, but I don't know what it's actually this means. And from that time, I was like so amazed at, um, at this, uh, at her unassuming and very honest, very forthright nature. So, and Another time there was a meeting in um, Delhi and uh, there was open air and there was a photographer who was like taking photographs and everybody wanted their photographs to be um, taken and copies of it and they were all put in this way. So I went and took her photograph and she says why are you taking my photograph of all the people? You're supposed to take the dignitaries, or you're supposed to take yourself. I said, I will keep this photograph because, you know, this is something I will always cherish because you are the icon who I really respect and I want to really follow. So for me, your uh, photograph is very important. And I still remember her laughing at it and she says, you want me and I'm an icon, you think? And, and so, then much later, I met her at Usha's place. And that time she was like feeling really low. And then you see a different kind of person, a person who is in a way broken, in a way the very law and the legal regime that she stood for and she had to create so many of our judges and lawyers somehow getting defeated by that very structure of the law. And for me that was a very poignant moment 
the developers talk about law, talk about law reform and somewhere, this entire process itself engulfs you and in a way shatters your spirit. But of course her spirit was not really shattered and I'm very grateful for people like uh, Usha and Justice Murli who were part of her family. And that gave us all, as Irina just mentioned, that a new sense of family, a new sense of belonging. And she really wanted people to come and visit her. She wanted somebody to take her for a movie, somebody to give her company. And then when I met her, she says, you know, like when I see you, I feel so much life. That you brought life here, you know, there were things that are happening, um, the movement is happening. I feel so isolated that I'm away from all that. But, you know, all of you coming and meeting me brings so much new life into me, new spirit into me. So forever she wanted to be part of something that was going on around her. And of course the conference where um, the engendering one in memory of Lodhika Di. And uh, many of us wrote in that because we really wanted to be part of the process. Shivaramaya, Lodhika Di, I mean they were part of an era where I think law and legal research and uh, legal scholarship meant something else, something very different. And these people, Upendra Bakshi, all of them part of that same circle. And I think my understanding of law and my understanding of rights in a way flows from these people, not necessarily, I'm not necessarily a student, but somehow I've followed them, I've tried to understand what they have been writing, and in a way they are my mentors, and in a way one feels very sorry when each of them depart, but I feel um, the rest of us who are here will carry this struggle forward as we again going for a, another rate or amendment. I wish somewhere I feel her spirit very close, and be very much part of it. And I'm sure she would have looked forward for this um, ordinance and she would have asked people what is there in it, etc. And I feel very, very close to her and I'm very grateful that this ceremony is happening here, this function is happening, and we can at least share these memories. Thank you.